Well, hello there and welcome back to a brand new video where today's video we're going to be comparing the differences between Rugby 22 and Rugby Challenge 4. Those games are the latest rugby games out there. We obviously have Rugby 22 developed by the guys at Eco Software, Big Ben Interactive, Nacon, etc. And obviously the guys at Rugby Challenge 4 is what Wicked Witch, I think it is. But essentially, Rugby Challenge 4 is more of a Southern Hemisphere game, whereas Rugby 20 is more of a Northern Hemisphere game. And obviously both games has their pros and cons, but today we're going to be comparing kind of what is different. So if you were looking, you know, today and go, you know, I can only buy one rugby game, which rugby game should I buy? This isn't like an instant an incentive and what on the earth are you trying to say, man? This isn't like a full review of both games, and it's not a recommendation in terms of which one I think is better. It's more of showing you what is there and what isn't there. So we're gonna be going through rugby 22 in terms of like what can you actually do in rugby 22, and also then show you what you can do in rugby challenge for. And therefore, after watching this video, you were like, actually, I prefer that game mode, and that game mode isn't available in this game, but it is in this game and vice versa type thing so we'll kind of go it pretty quickly i don't want to spend too much time but a lot of you guys have been interested and curious to kind of know the main differences between rugby 22 and rugby challenge 4 so without further ado this is the rugby 22 main menu and like most games you've got quick match so in quick match uh, basically the leagues we have so we have top 14 we have the premier league which is unlicensed so if you are someone who, you know, like me, who loves the Gallagher Premiership, you know, supports an English rugby team. Unfortunately, in Rugby 22, it's not licensed. So if that is something you're after, we'll talk about it in the later on, but Rugby Challenge 4 has a licensing. So if that's a deal breaker, then maybe Rugby Challenge 4 is for you. Now, we then have, obviously, United Rugby Championship. Now, this is fully licensed. If you're a Munster fan, Leicester fan, Bennett Rugby fan, Rugby 22 is for you. It's fully licensed and, you know, pretty good right then we got pro division 2 if you're a big fan of that league it's licensed great for you as well and then the nation's trophy is kind of the internationals now realistically rugby 22 has quite a few licenses regarding internationals but not all of them uh, rugby challenge 4 definitely has less but rugby challenge 4 because it's like older it still has some of the licensing which rugby 20 no not rugby 20 now rugby 22 has for example like new zealand and australia were exclusive to rugby challenge 4 but it is in rugby challenge 4 as well as rugby 22 so it'll be interesting to see what happens when they bring out rugby challenge 5 whether or not new zealand or australia would be there or it's rugby 22 managed to like keep the i guess the licensing for either for this game or for future games it will be interesting uh, but looking at the internationals as you can see obviously you can tell straight away which ones are licensed and which ones are not obviously the ones which has a badge like this for england they're not licensed but like this before australia when you've got the sponsorship the actual logo then obviously they are licensed so pretty much the international I mean, rugby 22 has a lot of licensing as you can tell in terms of internationals they got the all blacks as well a big big exclusive that i still kind of think what happened was was that they thought well let's try and invest our funds into australia and new zealand because obviously those guys you know were exclusive to rugby challenge 4 whether or not we can try and you know bring some players from rugby challenge 4 over to rugby 22 but instead of kind of scrapping the licensing for the Premiership, for the Gallagher Premiership in the UK, I don't know, but it would be interesting to find out one day. Um, but yeah, I mean, they, they've got most teams. Obviously, South Africa is still Rugby Challenge 4. You know, Tonga, USA used to be in Rugby 20, you know, not in Rugby 22. Obviously, the team is there, but the licensing isn't. You know, they've got a lot of teams. So, you know, if you play internationals, Rugby 22 is a pretty good shout if you want to play internationals. They got my team. So my teams is basically you can create your own team in Rugby 22, just like you can in Rugby 20. Essentially, if you played FIFA and you played Ultimate Team, essentially you have packs, you open packs, you get players, you build the best team possible. And as you can see right now, I have a team rating of 54, which is pretty diabolical, but it is what it is, right? Anyway, so moving on to the final section or the final league is top 14. So top 14 is fully licensed. So if you're a fan of Montpellier, Toulon, 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 Toulouse, Racing and all that stuff, they're all licensed. Now in terms of like leagues, I think we have like five, I think. So we've got top 14, we've got the Premier League, we've got United Rugby Championship, we've got Pro Division 2, Nations Trophy 
and my teams. So that's kind of an idea in terms of what they have. I think it's over like 50 licensed teams in Rugby 22. Now moving on to online match. So online match is just like anything. It's just like quick match, but it's online. So nothing really crazy. I mean, like with Rugby Challenge 4 and Rugby 22, the your biggest limitation is a connectivity, but also trying to find players. Uh, when I posted my online match a few days ago, a lot of you guys were like, Matt, how on earth did you find a match? And I was just lucky. So yeah, it's, it's, it's one of those things. Training. So training, just like in Rugby Challenge 4, Rugby 22 also has training. So we have passing, tackling, the ruck, the scrum, set plays, the line out, goal kicks, the mall. So training is in Rugby 22. If you're like, oh, you know, I've never played a Rugby 22 game or a rugby game in general, apart from Rugby Challenge, you know, is there training? And of course there is. So moving on to events. So normally what happens is, is with events, it's typically weekly challenges. It's quite surprising that even though the release of Rugby 22, there are no events right now. Game came out, what, five days ago? Six days ago? Uh, about five days ago, I think. Maybe four. I don't know. But it came out last week. And there's no events right now, which is a little bit... I don't know. Were they unprepared? I don't know. But hopefully there'll be events soon. Now, moving on to my mission. So this is new to rugby in terms of the Rugby 20, Rugby 22 series type thing. And it's pretty cool. They, they have all these little challenges. I mean, you unlock them throughout. Um, but for example, boosters. Get 25 booster packs. Um, get so many score points. Now, the thing is, is basically by clicking onto that, you get like shorts and you know stuff for your team, like match. Looks like here, I'm going to get a booster pack for playing 10 matches. Um, what else do we get? Daily attendance. Play, do, take, blah, 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 play two days. Play three days. Um, a spender. I mean, you get you get money, uh, which is cool. So you know, my mission. It's it's a nice addition to Rugby Twenty Two. We then got career. So like I said, you guys obviously you can create your own team. Um, essentially, in career, you can build your own team. So you can build a team from scratch. You can, you know, choose you know the name of the team. And when I say choose the name of the team, you can't customize the name. They just give you a list of names. So for example, my team's called the Champions. You know, I wish I could call them like Consistent Squad or whatnot, but it just is what it is. You can obviously create your kit. You can create the ball. You know, you can add players and all that stuff. You can't edit players like a rugby challenge for. You can edit players here. You can't, but you know, you can create your own team. I think you can create up to four or five teams. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's always been a feature and it's a pretty good one. League, as you can imagine, you can basically just select what league you want to play. Uh, like I showed you in Quick Match and you play as that one team and you try and win the league. So, you know, just standard stuff really. It's like the Quick Match, but you've got a match every time rather than Quick Match. Obviously selecting your home team as well as your away team every time. Uh, my teams is obviously, uh, you know, like I said, so it looks like you've got four slots. And it's obviously my team, so I go into customize. Like I was talking to you earlier about the, the my squad. You, know, you can customize a lot of things. Uh, manage as well. This is your team. These are my cards, uh, tactics, set plays. So essentially, it's like in Rugby Challenge 4, where you've got like the Be a Pro series, where you can create your own pro. I wish Rugby 22 had that. But unfortunately, it doesn't. But what Rugby 22 does is you do have the ability to create your own team. Um, so, you know, pretty interesting. And then my collection is typically all linked. So, career, my teams, and my collection are all linked. So, it's not like, oh my goodness, it's a special feature. Like, they are all linked together in some way. Um, but, yeah, my collection, like I said, you got your my cards. You then got boosters. So, I haven't got any boosters to open. But you can buy booster packs. But, unfortunately, as of right now... Basically, like, I, I mentioned this before in Rugby 20, there was no way to be able to buy, or basically, A, buy score points. So right now I have, like, nearly 15,000 score points. So I, there's no option for me to actually spend real money. There's, like, no there's no microtransactions, which, for a game like this, I would have thought they would have added in, you know. I don't know, you, you buy 10,000 score points, it's a pound, or whatever it might be. Uh, because then you can, you know, buy more stuff. I mean, it's... It's one of those things. I know it's... I mean, it's not really a play to win. Yeah, I mean, you can use your career team online, but someone else can do the same, and someone can play New Zealand, you know? Like, my team are rated 55. I mean, I probably have to spend a lot of money to get it somewhat like New Zealand anyway. But, you know, 
it would be nice if that was a possibility because then I can open packs for you guys, do pack openings and all that stuff. But that's just something to bear in mind. Um, so that's basically Rugby 22 in a nutshell. So the main things, you know, if you were considering like, you know, what would I play mainly? So quick matches are fun because, you know, you, you want to play mainly like between two teams. Online match is great if you can find someone. Events are good because they always like, they're like challenges. So like in the past, it would be like, oh, you're 18 nil down. You know, can you overturn the 18 nil down and win type thing? Those are cool. Like I, I really like those challenges. My missions is new. I like the idea. It looks like you'll be able to like unlock stuff and, you know, some stuff is locked. So by doing the missions, you get score points and all that stuff. And then obviously career is pretty cool. If you want to create your own stuff, create your own team, that's pretty impressive. Uh, league as well. I think with League, I think there might be a kind of, um, what's the word? I think, I don't know if you can buy and sell players in League. I haven't checked it out yet. Um, I think essentially when you are in League, um, it just says, you know, oh, you can manage your team. I think, like, well, I remember in Rugby 20, you could buy and sell players. So, so I think that is a bit like FIFA, but but basically those are the main things you probably would play. You probably would play career mode and league mode, and that's pretty much it. However, let's move on to Rugby Challenge 4. So let's quickly go to home. Let's go and switch over to Rugby Challenge 4 and boot it up. So Rugby Challenge 4 was the first ever Rugby Challenge game I have ever played. And um, at first I was like, whoa like this is a bit different but obviously rugby challenge 4 came out i think over a year ago i think um i could be wrong but i think it's definitely over a year ago and um rugby challenge 4 it's very different like, the gameplay is different the way it plays is different um i've always found like maybe rugby 22 is kind of smoother but rugby challenge 4 maybe seems a little bit more realistic but i feel like rugby 22 is done a phenomenal job it's definitely an increase uh from rugby 20 to rugby Two. And yeah, it's Wicked Witch and True Blue who make Rugby Challenge. Now, Rugby Challenge 4 has quite a few features. So, we'll wait for it to kick off. Well, kick off, I say X. So, you have single match. So, in Rugby Challenge 4, you can play 15 versus 15 or Rugby 7s. Rugby 7s isn't a feature in Rugby 22. So, in Rugby 15s, just to show you what teams we've got. So, you've got the Premiership. Well, no. So that's the year. Okay. So, yeah. So they actually have like the Challenge Cup and the Championship Cup type thing. So let's begin with the beginning. So your internationals. So all these teams here. So not all of them are licensed. Some are, some are not. But you can tell like England's licensed by the badge. Um, France are not licensed. Um, so they don't have too much licensing in terms of internationals. But with Rugby Challenge 4, you can edit teams. You can edit an unlicensed team to make it licensed in a way. So that's why a lot of people enjoy Rugby Challenge 4. It's due to the customization side of things. And also, I think there's a game hub as well. So if I were to create an England team, I can just download it and then replace my current thing, my current England team, with that team. Um, but you can play as a lot of internationals, like Romania, Portugal. I mean, 34 raids. I mean, Portugal's not even in Rugby 22. I mean, it's pretty impressive, really. Now, we go to R2, you've got Super Rugby. So, if you're someone who enjoys Super Rugby, you know, Rugby Challenge is the game for you. Like, if Super Rugby is important to you, Rugby Challenge is definitely the place to go. Euro Club Championship. So, you know, like I said, it's essentially like the Challenge Cup. You've got Bath Rugby, Clermont, Connor, Exeter Chiefs. You know, it, they have a lot of leagues and a lot of tournaments. we also got the New Zealand Cup. You know, so, you know, like I said, like I said, Rugby Challenge is definitely more, I guess, dedicated for the Southern Hemisphere compared to Rugby 20. No, no, I keep saying Rugby 20, Rugby 22, which is more for the Northern Hemisphere. We also got Premiership Rugby. So, like I said, if you're a fan of playing as the Premiership, you know, the Gallagher Premiership, but licensed, then, you know, Rugby Challenge is for you. I mean, I'm a big fan of Saracens, and unfortunately, if I want to play as Saracens with the full team, the full name, and all that stuff, and the full license, then obviously, Rugby Challenge 4 is where I kind of need to go. Um, but obviously, I can still play as Saracens in Rugby 22, but obviously, you know, Owen Farrell is just, I don't know, some guy called, I don't know, Richard Murr. I don't know, but just is what it is, I guess. Uh, French Group 1. So, obviously, French Group 1 is essentially... Um, what was it? 
a Pro Division one. Yeah, Pro Division one. And they got the names there, like Clermont, um, La Rochelle, Lyon, Paris, uh, Toulon, Toulouse. I mean, so they got the names, but they don't have the licensing. And they got the Elite 14, which is essentially the United Rugby Championship. So, I mean, they've got, once again, got the names like Leinster and all, all sorts. So they got a bit of licensing. Well, I guess... Yeah, because I got a bit because Rugby 22, for example, called Saracens London. So Rugby Challenge has some licensing, but not the full. Um, you got the French Group Two, so like basically Pro Division Two. You got the Australian Cup, um, so you know all licensed here. We got the Curry Cup as well. So some of this is something you're interested in. Rugby Challenge is definitely for you. Bonus teams you can play as Wicked Witch, which is 99 rated, um, and then you got Creator 15 teams as well. In rugby sevens, you know, you can play as uh, women's. Yeah, so women's. Um, oh, I think rugby sevens is just women's. No, it's not. Is it? No, it's not. So you can play as women's. So, so women's rugby is in rugby challenge. Whereas in rugby 22, you can't play as women. So if that's something you're interested in, then rugby challenge has that for you. Um, but no, you can play as sevens. You can create your own team as well. It's pretty awesome. Create a men's team, a women's team. You got training. Like I said, tutorials, run around. And obviously, run around is simply just run around. It's kind of a free roam. Whereas in Rugby 22, you kind of have to say what tutorial you want to do. Uh, be a pro. So be a pro has been a, quite a big series on the channel. Be a pro in general is something which I've always wished Rugby 20... Rugby 20... I wish Rugby 20 had it, but I wish Rugby 22 had. But basically, be a pro, as you can imagine. Be a pro is where you create your own pro. You have objectives. I mean, right now I'm playing as a fly half. You know, I'm switching between teams. Some teams want to get rid of me. Some teams want, you know, me to stay. You know, I'm trying to be the best I can to get an international lineup, or international international call up, and all that stuff. So, be a pro, playing as an individual. You you don't play as a team. You just play on your own. It's honestly fantastic, and I wish for the next rugby game. So I imagine rugby 24. I'm hoping that game has be a pro because they are really missing out if they don't include it. Uh, competitions. So it's just like leagues. So you, like I said to you guys, whatever competition you guys have seen on the on the quick game, basically do the same in competitions. Uh, career mode. So career mode, once again, just like league in Rugby 22. Um, well, I guess career mode is like buying and selling. League is just playing. Uh, yeah. I think competition, you can just do a competition and career mode is like, if I, if I go to my career, yeah, you play as a team, you can do X, Y, and Z. So, you know, they have, I mean, Rugby Challenge has a lot of features. Play online. Fan Hub is where you can, you know, go to teams. So, for example, most popular teams, I'm signing in, connecting to player, create a server. Like, you can create teams. For example, like, the community can rate them as well. So, if I want Wales, apparently, this team is very good. You can search for teams. These are the most popular teams. But, like, for example, Leinster, Italy. I mean, people create players and create them like as their ratings and all that stuff. Your your, your uploads. I mean, I can go to players. You can download players if you want to. So if you go to players here, um, you know, I can get all these players like George North, for example. You know, I can look at the custom players. Fifteen hundred. It's crazy. Um, I mean, you can customize, I can customize players, I can create my own player, edit a player, I can link players, do teams, do kits, competitions, and all, all that stuff, really. So, basically, Rugby Challenge 4 is has a lot of features which Rugby 22 doesn't have. So, the main thing in Rugby Challenge 4, like, so if you were playing this, Rugby Challenge 4, realistically, almost gives you more bang for the buck. The reason is, is you've got single match, you've got be a pro, you've got competitions, you've got career mode, you can play online, but I think the main selling point of Rugby Challenge is the fan hub, because it's a really community-based game. Now, Rugby 22, you know, it's great for the career mode where you're creating your own team, you've got booster packs, there's no booster packs here in Rugby Challenge 4, but I think the ultimate rugby game would be to have like the career mode where you can create your own team with booster packs 
but also the ability to edit players, upload players, have a fan hub, have a beer pro. I mean, if Rugby 24, let's say, had a beer pro series or beer pro, you know, kind of game mode, had a fan hub, had the ability to customize a lot of things, and also, I guess, like had a few more leagues in the summer, some in the what in the what about in the southern hemisphere, it would almost be the perfect rugby game. Um, but obviously, that's why we have both. That's why we have both. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, I wish Rugby 22 had Beer Pro because Beer Pro is a fantastic series. But the good thing is I can keep going back to Rugby Challenge 4 to play the Beer Pro series. So it'll be interesting. It will be interesting. I mean, the only thing is with Rugby Challenge 3 to Rugby Challenge 4, I think it took a long time to kind of like get to the next level or I guess the next game. Whereas with Rugby 20 to Rugby 22, it's only two years. But there is rumours that there could be a brand new rugby game being developed or published by Nacon, the guys who make Rugby 22, by another company. And we spoke about that before on the channel. So Rugby 22 right now and Rugby Challenge 4 are your main options. But there could be a third option coming in from the publisher of Rugby 22, but a completely brand new game. Now, whether or not that game is the World Cup game, which I think it is. I think it is going to be the World Cup game. And I think the World Cup is, what, next year in 2023? Is it, I think? I could be wrong. Let me know. But I think that's when it is. I think we could see a new rugby game next year, potentially. But anyway, what are your thoughts down below? You know, if you had, let like, a question I want to ask you, and let me know in the comments. If you could only have one game, right? So whether it be your partner, your parents, whatnot. They've said to you, you can have one game, one game only. Which game are you choosing? Are you choosing Rugby Challenge 4 or are you choosing Rugby 22? Because I will be doing a review of Rugby 22 shortly. And I also will be doing a video kind of talking between Rugby 22 versus Rugby Challenge 4 in terms of my review of both games. But, uh, but no, let me know your thoughts, guys, down below. If you have enjoyed today's video, then be sure to massive thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Come on, thoughts regarding this. But anyway, guys, have a wonderful day, and as was in my next video, adios, chaps, boom.